Today, we're going to continue to learn how to draw 3D. Previously, we learned how to draw spheres, cones, and cubes using a pencil and a blending stick. Today, we're gonna to still use these tools, but we're gonna start with a photograph and turn that into a larger drawing. Let's go. We're gonna start with our composition. Composition is the arrangement of the subjects in a work of art. I've arranged these wooden blocks to a suitable composition for our drawing. I'm gonna be using eraser, blending stick, and of course our pencil. Observation, the act of visually studying an object. In this case, it's our photograph. I'm closely studying the photograph to make my decisions. Proportion, the relationship between parts of things compared with respect to size. That simply means how big is one object compared to another. Overlap, extend over to partly cover. Many, if not most, of these objects will be overlapping another object. So it's crucial that I understand what is overlapping. In contrast, that gets into our shading, the extremes of light and dark values. I'm going to create my values by creating multiple layers using my pencil. I'm using an HB pencil, which is the middle of the road value. It's not too dark and it's not too light. I can get really good values by adding multiple layers, also varying up my pressure. The sharper my pencil also attributes to how dark it's going to be. The sharper the pencil, the darker the mark. I'm going to be using my blending stick to go back and smooth out my shading that I applied with my pencil. And I go back and forth. After I've blended, I'm going to go back and do some more shading to get it richer and darker. Don't feel like you need to get your perfect value on the first pass. It always takes me multiple layers. I'm trying to make my edges clean and crisp as well as make my shadows richer. If you don't have clean, crisp edges, the shapes are going to look fuzzy and out of focus. Hopefully watching this process has been helpful for you in your progress to drawing 3D images using a pencil. If you liked today's video, go ahead and click on this one too. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to Create Art with Chris right here.